good morning today is a great day it is tuesday i officially have 73 days left until i graduate so with that being said i'm currently on my way to class and i will check in with you guys after class bye okay so i just got done with class it was good we didn't do anything crazy we did just turn in our homework assignments so that was awesome dang i just remembered what i was supposed to do i have to remember to do it tomorrow <laughs> basically one of my homework assignments that's due tomorrow night is to take pictures of icons and symbols around just like your life um and of course i wasn't really thinking this far in advance, I could have taken a lot of photos and pictures in Vegas, but I wasn't thinking ahead. So yeah, I'm gonna spend the next 24 hours looking for icons and symbols. And I was actually using the bathroom and I seen at the back of our door, there's like three icons. So I'm gonna have to take a little mental note of that to remember to take a picture of that tomorrow. If I can't happen to find any more icons or symbols tonight, I have to find 30 of them in total, so. Yeah, anyways, sorry, that just popped into my mind. But yeah, I'm currently on my way home. I'm probably gonna eat some food with Sam real quick and then start getting ready for work and head out to work. So today it's probably gonna be another quick, short video, but it is what it is. And we got 73 more days left. So let's freaking get it. Hey guys, what's up? So I was gonna do just like the normal time lapse. You guys watch me do a process of my makeup. Um, personally, I love those kind of videos. So I do like to put out videos um, that I personally would like to watch. Um, so yeah, I am gonna do things a little bit differently today just because it's not gonna be a full 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 B. it's probably gonna be more of a simple glam i'm trying to get to work a little bit early um just because in town we have this thing it's called parade of homes your town might or might not have it um but basically what it is is you get a ticket um you purchase a ticket to like walk through a bunch of open houses and <clears throat> the houses vary in price so you could go to just like your average day house that you could practically see yourself living in you know with just like all your everyday amenities or or and or <laughs> you could go to like these mansions like i've been i think i've been to it um two years prior to this I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it this year, but I know the years that I went, there was some super, super cool houses. Like, one of the houses, well, a majority of the houses have really nice views, um, just because they are, like, expensive, you know? Um, so, the houses, they have really nice views, really nice, like, pool areas, like this one house... It was the master suite and it would open up to the pool area. And when I mean open up, I literally mean open up. Like there was two walls to like the pool area and the two walls would slide in to like other walls to disappear. Like these two walls that were connecting would literally, they were glass or whatever, they would suck in to the other walls and basically it was now like this big open patio, master bedroom, pool in your living room type of situation. Um, that house also had a fire pit in the middle of their pool that you could like walk out to or like swim up to if you were in the pool. Um, as well as like a theater, a theater room and stuff like that. I know one year there was a house with um, I think the, 
I think the guy that owned it or um, built it, I'm, I'm assuming probably the one that owned it and lived in it, uh, liked to hunt. And I know hunting isn't everyone's like, biggest thing but um like for some people it is for some people it isn't you know um but i personally love animals and as eerie as this was i couldn't live in it but i thought it was super cool he literally had all of the animals he's ever like hunted stuffed and displayed and let me just say literally one part of his room was cut off like it was broken not like broken it was, what's the, what am, it was like separate from his house. Like all of his like living quarters were on one side and there was just like one side separate to his house, literally dedicated to his animals. And like he had every single animal that you could possibly think of. There was bears in there, giraffes, lions, tigers, elephants, rhinos, all sorts of birds yeah it was pretty sad but it was also pretty cool because to think like he actually did that is you know really sad but to be able to like actually see the size of like a polar bear or like you know a bear or like a lion or just like any of those kind of animals that you really only hear about or maybe see about in like movies or so it was really a sight to see for sure. That's like one thing I kind of wish that I recorded maybe a little bit, but I did it. I'm learning now. So try to get all that. <laughs> but yeah, I would really love to go to Parade of Homes. It's like 20 bucks. Um which isn't a lot but it is a lot considering i'm not buying any of the homes it's more just for enjoyment purposes so i may go i may not i'm probably leaning more towards the not just because this is going to be my first weekend home with nothing really planned and i really would love to just work on homework honestly because We've been traveling so much that I really have been putting all of my homework on the back burners. I've been getting, you know, the things that are due turned in and whatnot, but I'm not progressing. Like I'm only working on what's due before it's due. So I really would love to try to get ahead of the semester work on my senior project that is only gonna get bigger the longer I put it off. So yeah, we'll see if I make it to Parade of Homes or not. I'm not gonna front or anything. It is, I freaking love it. Like it is so much fun to be able to dream and Think about all the cool things that maybe one day you could have in your house. And yeah, I personally love it. I think it's a great time. Sam, on the other hand, would probably disagree just because Sam likes to be able to like own it and then like use like like Sam would prefer us to be doing that when we're in the market to be doing that you know like whereas i i don't mind window shopping because i kind of was raised sort of like that like window shopping is a fun thing so yeah we shall see but anyways i just wanted to do my makeup and kind of chat while i do my makeup about my life everything that i've been going through so yeah that's happening this weekend or this weekend and this week and i think yeah so that's going on in town which is always nice when there's like an event going on in town it definitely brings in more people which in turn hopefully brings in 
more money, which usually it does, but yeah, so currently whipping together a quick light beat. I did have a class earlier today. I think I did a little check-in then, but there's just a lot of things starting to slowly add up in my classes. Um, I think I mentioned in a few videos before this, but if you're just now joining me, I currently have 73 days until I graduate. Um, and a lot of my classes this semester are like semester long projects. So it's a little bit stressful now that I'm coming up pretty much to that halfway point. Um, like spring break is literally right around the corner. I wanna say it's in probably three weeks or so. It's like the first week of March. So you know when that's coming up, everything else is coming up right behind it because that's the halfway point, so. Yeah, it's a little intimidating for sure, for sure. But I can't do anything about it, except for try my best to live in the moment and also to get my shit done. So trying my best to do all of that, what I just said, while trying to be sane. <laughs> um, I do really appreciate how like connected my life is. That sounds probably really strange to some of you, but what I mean by that is, um, I've really been, I really want to lose weight and I really want to learn self-love and be happy with myself and like my journey. Um, but with life, there's always things going on. So it does get overwhelming at times and sometimes it's hard to juggle a lot of things at once. Um, for instance, like I have a lot, or I had a good amount of like New Year's resolution goals and it's only natural to not, you know, accomplish all of your goals, but I personally would love to accomplish all of my goals. So, um, one of my goals this year was definitely learn more self-love and to be more positive to myself because I've learned over the years that I am my worst, like, critic and that's really sad. It shouldn't be like that at all, but it is and I'm trying to learn from it because it's sad that I put myself down so harshly sometimes. So, sorry, talking and doing your makeup is just so distracting. What I'm trying to get into is basically one of my classes this semester, it's my information design class. I am tracking something every single week. So for instance, one week we tracked Sorry. So one week we tracked um like animals, how many animals we seen. Another week we tracked like how happy how happy we are. And ironically enough, this week, this is the week that is, um, you know, we finally don't have anything planned. 
we're pretty much done with all of our travels until May time. So this was really the week, like I, I've been telling myself, like, okay, when we get back to town, you really need to crack down, like blah, blah, blah. Um, one of the things that really help with weight loss would be tracking your intake. And ironically enough, this is what I mean by my life always comes back in a full circle, which is sometimes good, sometimes a little bit scary. This week, I'm tracking food and beverage. So, yeah, I just found that pretty ironic, but also awesome because my school life is matching up with my life life, and that's like a good a good time for sure. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, today. I definitely told myself that I'm gonna start drinking more of my water. So I have my water back with me. And I also told myself that I'm not gonna drink any more sweets. Like a really bad habit of mine is at work. I do a little shot of Pepsi, but that shot probably adds up to like maybe like five cups of Pepsi because I do it so often and I do it because I'm thirsty, but Pepsi doesn't quench your thirst like water would. And I just keep drinking it and drinking it to kind of, to try to quench my thirst. It doesn't work. I just end up consuming all this unnecessary calories and sugar and it's just not it's not a good thing so yeah um but with all of that being said it's a lot easier said than done because where's my foundation where's my foundation okay sorry it's a lot easier said than done because Ended up, I ended up doing two not so good things this morning, but it is what it is. Sam bought us breakfast from McDonald's, which I love. So it's so definitely hard to turn that down. And on top of like just being starving or like hungry. And then with that breakfast, there was the classic OJ, and as you probably know or may not know, OJ is filled with sugars, and it's definitely not as healthy as water is, so I did indulge in that, and I also <laughs> drank the OJ, but it's fine. I tracked it in my tracker, so that way I am aware. Like, that's more so why I like to track my stuff, because when I'm stressed out in life and everything, I mindlessly indulge in everything I can get my hands on. So, me trying to learn self-love, be happy with myself. I have to become aware of the situations that I put myself in. <sighs> Sorry, I have to go and check on the dryer. Make sure my clothes is getting dry. Um, but yeah, with that being said, you just have to be aware of 
the situation and what you're putting yourself through and all that all that good stuff so definitely want to be happy with my body and where I am in 73 days um so that's definitely what I'm going to start focusing on a little bit more um mm. I was, you know, it was always at the back of my mind, like these goals that I have, but it's hard for me to like, I don't know. I feel like I have such a weird mind when it comes to these things because it's sometimes hard for me to like commit almost like, and to like obtain that motivation. Cause like whenever I have trips coming up, or like big events coming up like I really count down you know and I really try my best to prepare for it but I'm just like I really would love to learn to not have to like prepare so hard like I would love to just be okay always with my body and like how I am like every day you know what I'm saying so that's why Ultimately, like, I find it so ironic and just kind of cool, neat and cool that my teacher is having us track so many things because um, it really has been making me aware of my life and, like, my daily habits almost. Like, for instance, my tracker that I just turned in today was about happiness. And I'm a pretty, I would, I would like to say that I'm a pretty happy person. Um, I feel like I'm gen like always kind of like laughing or giggling. Um, that's just me. So it was definitely weird for me to track that because I feel like I'm just like naturally always, like I said, laughing or having a good time. So that was really weird. Um, something that I did notice that I did track, oh, like a lot would probably be like a physical touch. Like I loved getting cuddles from Mono, my little doggy, and I loved getting hugged from Sam. Um, and I think those are the only two that physically touched me. But the other ones that I tracked were like um, when I got gifts, like I got gifts that made me really happy. Um, I do ever since like starting doing to doing my makeup a little bit more and, you know, doing more like this is a form of self-care, self-love. So yeah, after doing this, I have noticed that I've gotten more compliments, my makeup and stuff. And it's just, it's kind of weird for me to take compliments. I just like, almost like don't know how to feel. Like I don't know how to react. Um, I don't know if that has to do with the way that I was raised or just like the type of person I am. But literally, I I literally don't know how to like tell people thank you or like, I like, I'm trying to learn. I was telling Sam this because it happened actually when we were at the club the other night. Um, a girl, one of the bartenders was like, oh my gosh, your makeup's so pretty. And I was thinking that she was so pretty, you know, but like, I just, I got like choked up almost. And I also like overthought the situation where I'm just like, like if I tell her she's pretty, like I'm sure everyone tells her, you know, she's pretty. And it's like, I don't know why I let those kind of things get to my head. It really shouldn't bother me. And it re I really have to learn like to not worry about what other people think or like what other people are doing. and. It's definitely one of my biggest like downfalls, I would say. 
I'm a really big overthinker, overanalyzer for probably absolutely no reason. But it's just what I do. Okay, I'm trying this new technique. My coworker and my friend, my coworker friend, my friend, I would say, she told me, because I told her I hate how I have creases under my eyes. And she said to pack it in. So that's what I'm doing. I'm packing it in. She said she packs it in everywhere. So pack it in. I don't normally set my foundation. So hopefully my face doesn't come out really weird. I'm literally doing what she said to do. Just pack it in. <laughs> Anyways, I really don't know where I was going with any of this, but it's nice to have one of my classes sort of on board with me and my like life because um, I've been trying to become aware. Oh, I know what I was saying. Basically what I noticed throughout that like experiment of being happy was that out of like all 25 like tracking data points that I took, only one of them was because I was happy for myself. And like that sort of really stuck out to me. Like, like why am I looking for happiness from other people, you know? And like, I think I was talking a little bit about that, like how I'm like uncomfortable with like compliments and stuff, but I really am like a social person. But I felt like the older that I got, the more like antisocial I became. And I don't know like what the stem of that is. Um, it could be from moving because I did grow up in a small town um, with literally all of the same friends from elementary all the way up until high school. So I probably would say that moving probably took a huge toll on myself and my happiness, but also on like just like my self-esteem I would say because you know back home I'd go out I'd go to the store and it's like everyone knows you you know and it's a good thing and a bad thing but I definitely felt like for me because of the type of person that I was growing up very outgoing person I I loved going out and seeing everyone and that's just how I was raised and my dad is I would say I'm just like my dad. Like I remember going to the grocery store growing up and it would take us like an hour, hour and a half to just get like a bag of rice or some poke or something, you know, because we would run into so many people that knew my dad and wanted to tell him what's up. And I always just thought it was so neat. And that was kind of something I always, you know, like, that was cool, looked up to in a way. Um, ironically enough, Sam is from my same hometown. And 
now that I'm older and I have a fiance, I do the exact same things when I go home. <laughs> Literally, I will be at like a party or something. Someone will come up to Sam, you know, they're talking. Literally, full on conversation. I'm thinking this is like Sam's bestie from back in the day or something. Sam literally will not even know their name. He's just like, oh, I think, I think he's from somewhere. Like, I think I know him from somewhere, you know, from like the context of the situation. I'm like, babe, how do you not know that? He's just like, I don't know, like they know me. And that's literally how it was for me growing up with my dad. He'd be like, I don't know, they know me though. Like, what's up? Like, oh God, dad. <laughs> Anyways, I think I got distracted again, but what I'm trying to say is, after all of those data points, I did realize that I need to spend a little bit more time making myself happy and doing things that I wanna do. Um, whoa not do eyeliner today yeah let's not it's not charm spot it's like bubbling out like the fuck I'm just not supposed to be doing that so let's not do that but yeah I did learn from my data points that I have to treat myself a little better give myself a little more self-love because I shouldn't have, I shouldn't be having to look for love or for happiness, you know? Like, I should be able to give myself that, if that. So, yeah, with all of that being said, I really enjoy the classes that I'm in this semester. I really do feel like I'm learning from them. And I'm really excited, honestly, to see what the future holds because it's exciting. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, yeah, there's just so many things <clears throat> up in the air um, about life and about these next, oops, about this next phase of life. And yeah, it's just, like I said, exciting, nerve-wracking, and all of the above. <sighs> Lucky thing I need to get new mascara. Cause this one's starting to get clumpy. I'm pretty sure I read this trick on like Pinterest or somewhere. That you could just put like eye drops in or. Eye drops are like a. Uh, Contact solution. But this is a sample mascara, so I'm almost thinking it's probably just drying out. <laughs> okay, so here is today's look. I'm gonna add one more pop of shimmer to the ends. Oh gosh, where did my green just go? to the ends of my eyes, I'll spray her out. And then I'm going to dress for work because I think I'm like right on time.
Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. And this is what I mean by like my life comes in full circle. I'm just, I just have such a hesitation on trusting my life. Um, I just got an email from my teacher telling me that my two assignments that I was low key freaking out about that was due tomorrow got moved. So it's about to be a great night. I'm super stoked. I just had to let you guys know. Anyways, I'm off to work. So I'll check in with you guys then. Peace. Hey guys, what's up? So I did just get to work. Um, it should be a good night. Here is today's finished look. I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. I always try to steer away from pinks, but apparently it's my vibe because I always <laughs> end up going towards some sort of pink. At least, I don't know. It looks pink to me, but I don't know how pink it looks to you guys. Anyways, I'm here at work. Another day, another dollar. Let's freaking get it. This sunset. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, what's up? I just got home. Probably should turn this up. Wow, that's so annoying. Did it just stop and start recording again? I don't know, my phone's low-key twacking, but it's cool. So, what's up, guys? I did just get home from work. Work was an interesting night, to say the least. Um, I feel like work's always interesting for me, but yeah, work was interesting. It was pretty chill, nothing out of the ordinary, just a normal night. Um, I don't even think I made a lot of money. It was pretty slow, honestly. But yeah, it was chill, whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm currently home low-key starving i did eat like a little bite of a sandwich that i low-key put in wrong um so i got to eat a little bite of that and just like a nibble on a few french fries but i haven't really eaten so i think that i'm gonna go out again to get probably something to eat and unfortunately it probably is gonna be fast food this is something i'm trying to change but the room wasn't built in a, a night wait <laughs> is that even the saying like you guys i know i think you know what i'm talking about like they say this something like that like rome wasn't built in a day or something but anyways i think this is just the delirium talking because yeah i'm i'm hungry <laughs> it's been a it's been a night so with all of that being said tomorrow is wednesday it is my long day and i might have to work at my second job i haven't gotten notified back about that but they did ask if anyone was able to come in and i did let them know that i was available so i might have my second job tomorrow night i might not but even if i do or don't it's still gonna be a long day wednesdays are my longest days so i'm very happy that my teacher changed my homework assignment so i'm not stressed about that because i was definitely stressed about that <laughs> i'm not stressed about that i have a homework assignment due tomorrow but I'm not too stressed on it because I've been working on it um, progressively. So I'm hoping that it'll be done before class tomorrow. And yeah, I think tomorrow, since it's going to be my long day, I'm going to have... Um, I really want to like crack down on my like senior project. So I think I'm going to set aside a few hours tomorrow um, to work on that. Because that's the one, one class that I've been kind of slacking a little bit. So... Yeah, with that being said, 
another quick short video got 73 days left until i graduate please definitely leave this a like leave us a comment and definitely subscribe to our channel so with all of that being said i'm gonna go and get some food and i will see you guys tomorrow shoots wait i think i do the shaka shoots <laughs>